He definitely is supposed to use the shield burst. Like, uh, he would absolutely demolish me. But again, shield is kind of busted. So, uh, that's the point. Like, you know, it's it's good to learn and try to overcome the best thing in the game. Barricade is one of the strongest things in the whole game. How do you bounce it? Still, I, I don't... I, I need to make a video on that. I'm gonna show people how to make the bones work. Hit me with the R1. Firstly. Normal R1, but come to me, close. Okay, so you see, like, nothing happens. Let's see if this weapon even bounces off. Now, hit. Yes, it bounces off. How does the, the bouncing works on, on the barricade shield? You have to stay still or run around without sprinting and do not do any offensive action for the period of one second. Otherwise, the bounce is not going to work. Hit me again, like again, this is bounce. And now I'm sprinting. You see, there is no bounce. Also, if I'm gonna just like uh, start like uh, handling like a shield too late, there, was, there is not going to be bounce as well. So you have to just like uh, wait for like one second and only then the bounce is going to be consistent you see do it again and look i can time it in the way so i'm doing the poke attack yeah on the bounce so if he would be using the shield you know he would he would get like direct hit because his stance would fucking like be completely broken and mephismo asks if you need to uh one hand or two hand the weapon for the weapon to bounce off it must be one-handed. It cannot be two-handed. Any weapon that being two-handed is not going to bounce off. Therefore, for example, if you would have very long weapon in this game that deals some sort of the uh, cheap damage through the shield, then technically it might be considered as somewhat counter to the shield. The problem is that like a print, a fingerprint shield just is too powerful in most of the cases. So it is not going to work because the defenses are just insane. It has like 90% defenses on literally everything. Okay, it's maybe it is related in that case to the ammo of the poise damage that you do. But yeah, he is bouncing off the, like, one hand. It needs, like, more testing. So it seems like it is straight up related to barricade shield. Although it doesn't seem like it is consistent with every shield. Even ultra great swords bounce off on two hand. Okay, uh, he's trolling. He doesn't have, like, stats. There is no fucking way. Unless, like, this weapon is bugged. <laughs> is there a way to build barricade for bleed? You have to do cheap damage. So the fingerprint doesn't bounce even if you stand still? I have no idea. We have to look into it. It's, if it bounces, then fingerprint is 100% better. But if it doesn't, barricade is better. And Dorito shield is superior as has like a less stat requirement and everything. Let's see if the weapon are bounce. It doesn't seem like it. Like the Ash of War like doesn't bounce, it seems like. Like the charge attacks as well. They do not bounce. It seems what like. What about they strafe? Uh, I, I, normal movement is fine. You can you can walk around. You just don't. You, you just cannot like a sp uh, do like short sprints. If you do it, as you can actually, he is, he used two hands. If you do like a short sprints, it like it is like it's it's not gonna bounce. But yeah, you just. I'm not sure if you can like a. Yeah, like, after sprinting, you see, it doesn't work. You have to stand still, and then it's gonna bounce off. I mean, like, you don't have to stand still, you just can strafe, but you cannot use the sprint. Like, in my opinion, at the given moment, Dorito shield, logically-wise, seems to be stronger. Not stronger per se, but stronger, like, as it is better composition with the rest of the... Uh, of, of the of the top tier builds, it seems like. My stability is supposed to be through the roof. Uh, hit me if you can, zombie. Okay, hit me. Let's see if you're gonna bounce off. Okay, and now let's see if you're gonna bounce off. Yeah, I think it is barricade exclusive effect. If like you're getting constantly hit, you are not going to make the guy bounce off. But there is, okay, this is something that I didn't show you guys. Uh, attack me. Okay, you see, so right now it's like, the, the right now the guy didn't bounce. But let's give me a moment. We're gonna wait for the shields to turn normal. Okay, it is normal now. Zombies start hitting me. You see what happened? I can apply it and cancel the animation. Even though I didn't have it applied. So I'm just holding the L1 and then I click L2 and it like applies without animation even playing. 
when you are gonna get hit. It allows you to, in fact, like if you're gonna time it correctly, which I didn't do yet, it allows you to essentially bounce the the weapon that's uh, of, of the enemy that thinks that you do not have the barricade shield. It seems like it doesn't bounce without barricades. You have, you know, you, 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 you don't, you have to just hold it. You don't have to activate it. But like, hey, interesting. You know what? It seems like, how much, how much stability do you have? An upgraded. Hey, guys, look at that. So it might be related to uh, stability. Uh, let me use a different weapon. Hold the, the block, please. And try it with my shield. Yes. Okay, guys, it is 100% related to certain amount of the stability that you have to match, that you have to match to make the shield poke, uh, uh, the bounce of work with the barricade shield. There is some sort of the threshold. So yeah, you have to match certain amount of stability on the shield for the sake of to make the bounce of actually work. Is there anything left to, to test, guys? Is there another, like, a question regarding barricade shield that you potentially would have? Shield grease? Uh, okay, this one. Boosting guarding ability on the damage negation. Okay, let's actually try it. And let's see if, like, if you're gonna bounce off. Let's see. Nope. It doesn't. Does the dual wield movesets bounce? Yes, they do. You can stack with barricade, it doesn't uh, go away. I think it's overkill, to be honest, my dear. Alright, so the, we know that shield grease is just increasing your stability, but it, it doesn't add the barricade effect. And the point of going 25 on shield? Yes, you always go 25 on everything that you have. I am 24 because uh, I just don't have enough, you know, upgrading materials. It's the only reason. Mm -hmm. Well, nothing we can do against it, to be honest. 